in a world where one is never enough. Where are we? You've seen this movie before. But this time, it's underwater. Same characters, new villains, more special effects. But will it live up to the first one? This is Kayan Explains Movie Sequels. It's only the start of the year, and Avatar The Way of Water is set to dominate this year's box office numbers. Now at the time of this taping, the movie has made over $2 billion at the box office, and it's just one in a long line of highly anticipated movie sequels in 2023. It's not like a long list of movie sequels is a new thing. Second, third, 10th editions of films have attracted huge audiences and made big money for movie studios. So what's the appeal of a movie sequel? And can they ever live up to the original? Let's dig in. KNE1, The Basics. A sequel is a movie that comes after a previous film. It can continue the original story, or it can be in the same universe, but with different characters and storylines. The Fall of a Nation, released in 1916, is considered the first feature-length movie sequel. But sequels didn't become more common until the 70s and 80s, with hit series like The Karate Kid and Star Wars. In the last two decades, sequels have been big hits. As long as audiences will pay to watch them, Hollywood will keep on making them. Which brings us to Can E2. More money, more movies. Making movies is a business, and the companies that make them want a winning formula for making money. According to film experts, audiences flock to sequels because they offer comfort and familiarity. Moviegoers know what to expect with a sequel, and that drives ticket sales. It's really tough to sell someone, sell an audience on a, on a new experience. Plus, it's not just about the box office numbers. A sequel offers the opportunity to sell products that tie in with the films. You're not just telling the follow-up to a story, you're giving life to what will hopefully be a multi-billion dollar enterprise that will continue and be spun off for years and maybe decades to come. The movie industry is famously risky and hard to predict. Sequels are seen as lower risk compared to new and original movies. However, that doesn't mean that there is no risk. Sequels are often more expensive than the originals because the expectation is that they are much bigger. So if they don't do as well, they can really flop. Nothing is a sure bet in Hollywood, but the sequel definitely has its appeal, even if the critics don't always agree. A&E 3, Critics Attack. Despite being popular with audiences and studio execs, sequels have not seen the same amount of success with critics and awards. Only two sequels have won Best Picture at the Academy Awards, The Godfather Part II and The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. There is, I think, a tendency, um, whether unspoken or not, to you know avoid rewarding uh, extremely successful franchise product because, well, it's already racked up you know millions and billions of dollars. But beyond that, a lot of sequels just aren't that good. So I think with sequels, you can fool the audience because they they love the original so much they're willing to take the risk, and even if the movie is bad you already have their money. But that doesn't mean that every sequel is terrible. In addition to the two Academy Award winners, there are plenty of examples of excellent movie sequels. Just ask our experts. Fast Five, which really kind of leveled up the franchise to something new. Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia. Empire Strikes Back is undoubtedly, like I, I will say it now, best sequel ever. My personal favorite, The Dark Knight. Love him or hate him, movie sequels aren't going anywhere anytime soon. The Marvel movies, for example, are planned for years to come. And James Cameron says he wants to make up to seven Avatar movies. That's it for Can Explains, and if you like this one, I mean, we could do a part two. I'm Arjun Ram, and I'll see you later.